Daniel Rigmaiden was in jail for tax fraud. But while there, he discovered he was captured using a potentially illegal technology. Went through almost all of the evidence, and in one of the last boxes, it had reports in there from a postal inspector who was on the case. And he had mentioned in one of his reports, we tracked the air car down to a certain area, and the FBI is using a stingray to pinpoint the location of the air car. And that's when I knew, OK, well, that's the device. It's a stingray. You know, like a bulldog, he just like grabbed it and then refused to let go. He then went on this, uh, this research rampage. He looked up everything he could find about this technology and how it worked, and painted this picture for the court. Using patent searches conducted from his jail library, Rig Maiden was able to uncover an image of the device used to track him. The world was about to get its first glimpse of the Stingray. A Stingray is a device that basically impersonates a cell phone tower. And it sends out a signal that tells your phone to connect to it, just like a regular cell phone tower does. But instead of then routing your call, which is what a cell phone tower would do, it collects information from your phone, the strength of its signal. It can collect unique identifying numbers on the hardware. It can even collect the calls that you're making if you're talking on the phone at the time. And it routes that information to the FBI or to whatever police department is using it. And the purpose of it is to use your phone as a tracking device without having to go through the phone company. This technology is so invasive. It doesn't just collect information about one person. They unnecessarily collect information about large numbers of innocent people. There's no way to use a stingray like a scalpel. It's like a, a huge trawler net that collects information about every phone in the neighborhood. 